Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review, this time of the following episode, Demons. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, just got this cutie tonight. <laughs> All earlier today. Anyways, I guess this episode is one that I'm not too happy with all around. I have mostly negative points for today's, tonight's little vlog. First thing is Max's whole boyfriend using the laptop to find out she's she slept with Mike once while they were together and never telling anyone, you know, hey, someone has set up cameras in your house, maybe you should be worried about that. No. I mean, this... I, I, I mean, so he's putting his own fucking personal feelings ahead of the whole, let's, you know, catch a killer. Never mind that. You know, because he's putting his personal feelings first and foremost, he's making resources that are needed elsewhere, just wasting time. And I've never been a fucking fan of this whole subplot. It's like, this should have been over in like an episode or two, but it keeps on going. And lo and behold, Max's boyfriend kill someone accidentally because they found out. This was the perfect fucking time for him just to stand still and come clean. Nope. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> and just like, I didn't think I could get any matter at this fucking subplot. I did. <laughs> I did. It, it fucking happened. Now, I can understand why Gwen broke up with Ryan. You know, he's... On his good days, he's put in danger working odd hours at times when there's a case. And add to all that of the stress that puts on Gwen because it makes her be put in a really dangerous situations. Ryan's now getting drunk and... You know, it's, I cannot totally understand out of getting a bad situation. Listen, if some relationship, either platonic or romantic, is not working out for you, by all means, get out of that situation. However, Gwen should at least tell Ryan, I'm pregnant. And, you know, that's why I'm getting extra angsty. That's why my hormones are going to go out of whack and having your child and who knows that might be enough to bring Ryan back to sanity to help him recover I mean these these two sort of subplots that I'm hating is all about people aren't talking to each other they're not saying yeah, just this is what's bothering me and let me get this all out so I don't cause drama. Yeah, and that's actually true for real life. I really, really prefer if people are honest with me and not hide their feelings like this is bothering me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I I won't go into anything. <laughs> But one of the things I really did enjoy is the Mark and Daisy relationship. Now, I'm not hoping it'll go romantic, but I do like how Daisy is making sure that the Luke side doesn't always take control. That, you know, Mark realizes he's there. That he's the one in control. I like that. Of course, while this may seem nice, maybe Daisy will eventually decide, hey, since I don't need him and I can make him convert to the Mark side, I'm just going to make him do that so he'll be less aware and then kill him. Who knows? 
But I do like the relationship as it is now. And my final thoughts on the following episode, Demons. I guess this would really be one of the weaker episodes as it has a few elements I don't like. Well, what I do like is that Ryan's going crazy and he's seen Joe Carroll. I really want to see that expanded and explored. And someone on the IMDb message boards was talking about what if you know Joe didn't die and Ryan sees the real Joe but he just thinks it's a hallucination. That would be to me that would be really the only reason to bring Joe back to life. And if you have any comments or questions about anything I mentioned in this video, please ask below. And if you you know I can't talk about everything in every episode in every vlog because these are short little vlogs that are supposed to give you you know a gist of what I think about the episode the my really important things of each episode so if you want to ask me questions about you know things that I didn't mention about this episode in this vlog by all means ask away and I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. If you go to my blog, you can see more lovely videos like these, as well as other things such as last night I released some more of my Jash Read series, continuing onward on my dramatic reading of Animorphs number one, The Invasion. I get to use my, start my Vicious 3 voice, but it's just He's so cruel and evil, but I, I like the voice I have for him right now, and I'm probably going to be, you know, switching and changing to fine-tune this lovely demonic voice. And if you go on my blog on the sidebar thingy, are links to where else I am on the web, and you can go to those places and say hi! And there's a link to my Ryan shop. There is also a link to naming my dragon on the sidebar thingy and the rules and benefits of suggesting a name. And I also have, I'm looking for artists to draw for the next giveaway. So if you want to go and if you draw dragons, you know, you know, check that out on the sidebar thingy. And if you're watching this on the YouTube, there is a link in the description to donate your account. And if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts, thank you very much. And until next video, goodbye. Mm -hmm.